So the other way of editing a symbol instance is um, for making color changes and it's called dynamic symbols. Now, every time you create a new symbol, it is by default now a what's called a dynamic symbol. And that is denoted by the plus in the lower right corner of its thumbnail. Now, if I left click on this original that we made and go to the symbol options, the button at the bottom of the symbols panel, as we saw earlier, symbol type, dynamic symbol. So this is a, a feature that came into Illustrator in 2015. It used to only be that you could only ever have static symbols. Therefore, these two options didn't exist. So when you made a change to a symbol, every other symbol changed. And if I just click cancel in here and leave it set to a dynamic symbol, I'm just going to pan across to the left hand side so we can see all of the parking symbols, which are denoted with a capital P. I'm going to start by editing them using the classic technique. So with my selection tool active, I'll double left click on the one at the top right hand side. That, of course, takes me into isolation mode. I'll click OK. I'll select the black round rectangle, then click on the color chip, click on the swatches tab and then change it to a light blue and then hit return. Once I'm done, then I'll hit the escape key on the keyboard to come out of isolation mode. And you'll notice that all of the symbols update at the same time. We know this, we tried it in the previous video. But what if I want to change one of those parking symbols to a different color to say, you know, free parking? Well, in that case, you have to switch to the direct selection tool, second tool down in the tools panel, and then left click on the component that you wish to change. In this case, the upper right hand symbol again, and the light blue. Then I'll go across to the fill chip, make sure I'm set to swatches and then left click on the green in there to change the color. Notice that only that symbol changes, the others remain the same, but they're all still linked. So it, it is a handy way of being able to just ad hoc change the odd symbol. And that's with a newer feature inside of Illustrator called dynamic symbols.